What's up guys? Upcycle the Pass here. On today's episode we are going to continue the barn restoration. It will be a lot of work, a lot to learn. Hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for more. What is a what is the man's best friend? Is it a dog? Is it your precious precious dog? Well, yes, you're absolutely correct. A man's best friend is a dog. But what is a man's best best friend? Well, my friends, that would be the angle grinder. I'm using a wire brush to clean off the brick walls. the results of the angle grinding I always use on old beams a wire brush on the angle grinder and set it on a low RPM and if you're if you know what you're doing and you are uh, angling the grinder in a good way then you will not scuff up look you will not scuff up the old beams, you will just simply clean them. Okay, so the next step is we are going to wash the brick walls with vinegar and we are going to put the vinegar in this little pressurized 2 liter bottle which works like this and easy, job done. Guys, if you ever wondered how a um, commie, communist era electrical wiring looked like, I will show you. Here is the socket, perfectly safe, absolutely 
standard, normal, in a weird plastic housing. The only good part about these are the are the switches because I really do love the switch, these old style switch, and I will reuse this, of course, because you couldn't find um, any materials when you were renovating or building something during those uh, during that era so you had to manage so after you ate the good old um, sardine um, can you actually they upcycled stuff recycled upcycled stuff before it was cool <laughs> so yeah this is the OG upcycling <laughs> nice so we can't really work with that tiny light bulb, <laughs> that ancient uh, light bulb and uh, lighting system. So let me show you what I got and what we will upcycle. Drum roll, please! Bam! Check those out. Noise. These are some um, industrial grade uh, illumination lamps which are using an E40 bulb which you don't find in household electrical systems and in those big black housings there are some transformers because they don't work directly plugged in into the wall so but I will bypass all of the transformer part because I will use E40 LED bulbs which work with uh, 230 volts directly from the wall so you don't need the transformer and everything but look at those basically I got them for free for my friend and I will not buy new lamps or other lamps because these will be hanging from some chains from there yeah lob cycling and stuff why why would I buy expensive new lamps when I can reuse some old ones which were thrown away from some other companies just I'm going to start the electrical work with mounting a new fuse box and replacing the old input cables how it looks it's really simple the 10 amp breaker will be the one for the illumination because I will be using only LED lamps so the consumption will be not big and 10 amps is recommended for, for illumination a 16 amp which will be the um, all of the power sockets for here for the power tools and the the uh, the 20 amp one will be for the garage part where I will be using the welder the most for the restorations and other metal works. Here I'm installing the new wiring for the illumination and the power outlets because the old ones were installed during the Cold War.
This is you. This is her ex. And this is the guys you shouldn't worry about. <laughs> so the new LED uh, industrial lamps bulb light bulbs arrived and these will go into those Okay guys, so we don't need all of this because the LED light bulb that I just showed you guys, the big one, the really big one, plugs directly to the system. So we need to bypass all of this and that's it. brick walls with the vinegar wash turned out really nice so here will be one power outlet there is another power outlet and here I have the switch for the lights Good. so that's all for today's episode guys I hope you enjoyed it it looks way much easier on camera than in the real life trust me trust me on this one um, there will be, I think, two, two more episodes with the garage until I uh, complete the restoration and then I will, I will resume the works on the Golf MK1. See you in the next one, guys! Okay, so it's dark outside, as you can see. <laughs> so let's see what we worked today. Boom! Total darkness, total illumination. Really nice, guys. I'm happy with the results. Don't forget to like and subscribe.